वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो सेशन फ्रॉम दिस चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी विल बी स्टडीइंग रिगार्डिंग द वेरियस आरएनए पॉलीमरेजेस व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन मैकेनिज्म और द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन प्रोसेस इन केस ऑफ प्रोकैरियोट्स एंड एज़ वेल एज़ इन केस ऑफ यूकैरियोट्स इज इट ओके सो व्हाट आर द वेरियस आरएनए पॉलीमरेजेस व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन मैकेनिज्म so as i have already mentioned you earlier the rna polymerase enzyme in case of prokaryotes itself it do not possess or it do not contain any different types but the specific rna polymerase enzyme itself it contains different subunits so what are the different subunits of the rna polymerase enzyme here so the different subunits of the rna polymerase enzyme it include alpha 1 and alpha 2 is it okay alpha 1 and alpha 2 and beta 1 and beta 2 and in addition the rna polymerase enzyme it also contains a specific subunit and it is nothing but what omega subunit is it okay so let me write it here so what are those alpha 1 and alpha 2 beta 1 and beta 2 and in addition it also contains omega subunit so here the specific rna polymerase enzyme during the transcription mechanism or the transcription process itself it is unable to recognize the promoter region in order to recognize the promoter region the specific rna polymerase enzyme it takes the advantage of a specific factor which is nothing but what sigma factor is it okay so once when the rna polymerase enzyme when it is in association with sigma subunit under such condition rna polymerase enzyme it is capable to recognize the promoter region is it okay so let me write it here so what it is sigma subunit so this is nothing but bacterial rna polymerase Is it okay for you? So right now we are going to study the specific gene which is responsible for the expression of the individual subunit and what is the role of the individual subunit of the RNA polymerase enzyme during the transcription mechanism or the transcription process. Is it okay? So let me arrange the things here. the specific gene and here it is nothing but the subunit and it is nothing but the activity of the subunit is it okay for you so here in order to synthesize the alpha subunit of the RNA polymerase enzyme, a specific gene is required and that specific gene it is nothing but what RNA polymerase A. RNA polymerase A, it is the specific gene which is responsible for the expression of the alpha subunit of the RNA polymerase enzyme. So now here my question is, what is the role of alpha subunit of the RNA polymerase enzyme? So as we all know, during the initiation phase of the transcription mechanism, the RNA polymerase enzyme, it has to recognize the promoter region. Is it okay? So in order to recognize the promoter region, the RNA polymerase enzyme, it takes the advantage of a concerned factor which is nothing but what sigma factor. So here, once when the RNA polymerase enzyme, when it has got successfully recruited to the promoter region, now here the RNA polymerase enzyme, it has to associate with the promoter region. In order to associate with the promoter region, the RNA polymerase enzyme, it takes the advantage of a specific subunit and it is nothing but what? Alpha subunit. Is it okay? So let me write it here. So what it is? RNA polymerase A. So it is responsible for the expression of alpha subunit. So what is the role of alpha subunit here? Association of the core enzyme core enzyme with the promoter region. Is it okay for you? 
and here in order to synthesize the beta subunit of the rna polymerase enzyme a specific gene is required and that specific gene it is nothing but what rna polymerase b is it okay rna polymerase b it is the specific gene which is responsible for the expression of beta 1 subunit of the rna polymerase enzyme so now here my question is what is the role of beta 1 subunit of the rna polymerase enzyme so as we all know after the successful recognition of the promoter region by the rna polymerase enzyme rna polymerase enzyme it has to incorporate the rntps is it okay so here the catalytic activity of the rna polymerase enzyme it is induced or it is carried out by the means of beta subunit of the rna polymerase enzyme is it okay so let me write it here so what it is rna polymerase b so it is responsible for the expression of beta subunit and here the beta subunit it is responsible for carrying out the catalytic activity is it okay for you and here the rna polymerase c it is the specific gene which is responsible for the expression of the beta 2 subunit of the rna polymerase enzyme so what is the role of the beta 2 subunit of the rna polymerase enzyme so as i already mentioned you earlier the beta subunit of the rna polymerase enzyme it plays a prominent role in organizing the catalytic activity is it okay so let me write it here so what it is rna polymerase c beta 2 subunit it is responsible for carrying out the catalytic activity is it okay for you and the next specific gene it is nothing but what rna polymerase d so what is the role of rna polymerase d so as i have already mentioned you earlier in my previous video session rna polymerase d it is the specific gene which is responsible for the expression of sigma subunit of the rna polymerase enzyme so what is the role of sigma subunit here as i have already mentioned you earlier rna polymerase enzyme itself it is unable to recognize the promoter region itself it is unable to distinguish the promoter region from the rest of the genomic sequence in order to recognize the promoter region the rna polymerase enzyme it takes the advantage of sigma subunit so here for the successful expression of sigma subunit a specific gene is required and that specific gene it is nothing but what rna polymerase d is it okay for you so let me write it here so let me arrange the things first rna polymerase d rna polymerase d so here it is responsible for the expression of sigma subunit so what is the role of sigma subunit here promoter recognition promoter recognition is it okay for you and the next specific gene it is nothing but what rna polymerase z So what is the role of RNA polymerase Z here? RNA polymerase Z it is the specific gene which is responsible for the expression of omega subunit of the RNA polymerase enzyme. So what is the role of omega subunit here? Omega subunit it is the specific subunit of the RNA polymerase enzyme which is responsible for associating the RNA polymerase enzyme in association with the sigma subunit. is it okay all the subunits of the rna polymerase enzyme it remains in association with the sigma subunit by taking the advantage of omega subunit is it okay so let me write it here rna polymerase z so it is responsible for the expression of omega subunit so here 
the specific omega subunit it is responsible for the assembly of the core enzyme core enzyme with the sigma subunit is it okay for you and here this is regarding the rna polymerase enzyme in case of prokaryotes and what about the specific rna polymerase enzyme in case of eukaryotes so as i have already mentioned you earlier in case of prokaryotes by taking the advantage of one specific rna polymerase all the types of rna it may be either rrna mrna and trna all they are successfully synthesized in case of prokaryotes but whereas in case of eukaryotes for the successful expression of one specific rna one specific rna polymerase is required is it okay for the successful expression of unique rna or one individual rna one specific rna polymerase is required in case of eukaryotes is it okay so right now we are going to study the rna polymerase enzyme in case of eukaryotes is it okay for you so let me arrange the things here RNA polymerase in case of eukaryotes So let me write it here eukaryotes is it okay for you so here rna polymerase 1 it is the specific enzyme which is responsible for the expression of various rnas in case of eukaryotes like 5.8s rrna is it okay 5.8s rrna 18s rrna and 28s rrna is it okay so let me write it here so what are those rna polymerase 1 so it is responsible for the expression of different rnas like 5.8s rrna 18s rrna and 28s rrna is it okay and here rna polymerase 2 it is the specific enzyme which is responsible for the expression of mrna is it okay mrna micro rna and sn rna is it clear so let me write it here so what are those rna polymerase 2 is it okay rna polymerase 2 it is the specific enzyme which is responsible for the expression of mrna mrna and micro rna which is used in case of post transcriptional gene silencing and in addition the specific rna polymerase 2 it is responsible for the expression of a specific rna termed as sn rna is it okay and the next specific rna polymerase enzyme which is used in organizing the transcription mechanism in case of eukaryotes it is nothing but what rna polymerase 3 so what is the role of rna polymerase 3 rna polymerase 3 it is the specific enzyme which is responsible for the expression of different rnas like trna is it okay trna 5s rrna trna 5s rrna and in addition it is also responsible for the expression of U6 SN RNA, is it okay? So let me write it here. So what are those? So let me arrange the things here. RNA polymerase three.
so here rna polymerase 3 it is responsible for the expression of 5s rrna and in addition the specific rna polymerase 3 it is responsible for the expression of trna is it okay trna u6 sn rna which is used in case of splicing mechanism and in addition it is also responsible for the expression of h1 rna which is used in case of trna processing is it okay so here the rna polymerase 3 it is not only responsible for the expression of these rnas and in addition the rna polymerase 3 it also plays a prominent role for the expression of some more other rnas like 7 sl sc rna is it okay so let me write it here so what it is 7 sl sc rna which plays a prominent role during the protein shorting mechanism or the protein targeting mechanism. Is it okay? Signal recognition particle. And here the RNA polymerase 3, it also plays a prominent role for the successful expression of a specific RNA termed as shine or short interspace nuclear elements. So here the specific shines they play a prominent role during the transposition mechanism or the transposition process. Is it okay? So let me write it here. So what it is? Shine. Transposons. So all these are the various RNA polymerases which are used in case of eukaryotes during the transcription mechanism or the transcription process. So in addition to these RNA polymerases in case of certain living organisms some more other RNA polymerases they are used. So what are the some more other RNA polymerases here? So these RNA polymerases they are nothing but what? RNA polymerase 4 and RNA polymerase 5. Is it okay? So let me write it here. So what it is? RNA polymerase 4. and RNA polymerase 5. Is it okay? So here the specific RNA polymerase 4 and RNA polymerase 5 they play a prominent role for the successful expression or for the successful synthesis of a specific RNA which is nothing but what? SIRNA. So what is SIRNA? The specific SIRNA it plays a prominent role during the post transcriptional gene silencing. Is it clear? So let me write it here. SIRNA SIRNA Biogenesis Is it okay for you? So this is regarding the various RNA polymerases which are used in case of prokaryotes and as well as in case of eukaryotes. So what are the various RNA polymerases which are used in case of prokaryotes and as well as in case of eukaryotes and what are the various subunits of the RNA polymerase enzyme and what is the activity of the individual RNA polymerase enzyme in case of eukaryotes. So I hope that this video will help you a lot. So if you like this video, just hit the like button and share it to your friends. And I remember you people to subscribe my channel for getting more and more videos what I make day to day. Thank you.